guys, it's Lauren, and today I'm going to be doing a Parisian inspired series, which will be a makeup look, an outfit, and a hair look, okay? So to start off, I did my first eye look for the Parisian chic. Now, for some reason, I don't know, the eyeliner kind of made my eye, like, get kind of red. Um, so that's why it looks kind of weird right now. But that's the first eye. It's sort of like a light, smoky eye. I really like it with like a cat wing eyeliner. And like I totally picture this like if you're running down the street in Paris, like that's just what this look really is all about. Alright, so I'm going to do my next eye. And keep in mind, it's really hard. I'm filming this on a webcam and the setup in this bathroom is not that great. This It really, really isn't where I do my makeup anyway in this bathroom. But right now, because everything's such a mess from us putting the hardwood floors in my house, as you've probably heard me say many times before, I really am just not set up right to do tutorials, so bear with me, okay? So I am going to first, I've already, well, just so you know, I've already done all my face makeup. I have just, as far as bronzer, I put some on, but you cannot tell at all. I look as white as a ghost on this camera. The lighting in this bathroom is horrible. And as far as blush, I just have a little bit of a tart cheek stain on, which I love. And a little bit of Benefits High Beam, which is another product I use all the time. You'll probably see me using that in lots of tutorials. And I have already primed my eyes. So with Urban Decay Primer Potion. Alright, so I'm going to start off by lining my eye with Chanel. Um, pencil eyeliner in noir or black but it's so hard to do that in front of a webcam so if you don't mind I am just going to stop the video and do it and then I will return. Alright I'm back. So as you can see I have applied a lot of eyeliner. This is definitely not an everyday look okay. This is mostly for fun to kind of make you feel like you're going to Paris, ooh la la, France and stuff like that. So it's a really intense cat eye as you can see. Um, this one, th no, sorry, this webcam is confusing me. Um, this one definitely came out better, but we're just going to work with what we have for this one, I think. So, what is very fitting, I'm going to start applying my eyeshadow, and this, yeah, as I said, this fits this tutorial very well. I'm using a NARS Duo Eyeshadow in Paris, which is just, like, super perfect for what we're doing, I think. So, I'm going to take it. I love the NARS Duo Eyeshadows. Oh, the little slip thing just fell out. Oops. Um, I think that they are super cute, and NARS has a lot of great colors. So as you can see by looking at these colors, one is sort of a light, very light, shimmery gray, and the other is a matte gray that's darker, almost black. When I put it up that close, you can't really even... There we go. Now you can kind of see the colors. Um, it looks like it has a greenish tint on the camera, but it really does not. Maybe a little, but not really. Alright, so I'm going to take just a simple all-over eyelid brush, and I'm going to apply some of the lighter color all over my eyelid. Trying not to go in the crease, but if I do... It is not really a big deal. This is not a very flattering angle, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm trying to trying to do it on the webcam, but it's kind of confusing me. Yeah, I'm just gonna look towards the mirror. All right, so I'm also going to use this color with an angled shadow brush and place it right below my bottom lashes. I'm also going to put a little bit of cover up on to cover up any mistakes. And yeah. All right, so that's, that's good for that. I'm going to use a different color for my inner corner, actually, even though I could use this one if I really wanted to. So now I'm going to take the ink brush and apply the darker color to my crease. I'm going to take a blending brush and really just blend it all in to create a nice smoky effect. 
using circular motion and some little windshield white motions as well. Yes, this also looks much darker in real life too. On the camera, this appears to be a very light silver. Hmm. All right, so now that I have blended that fairly nicely, I am going to close my duo and I'm going to use a different eyeshadow color to put on my outer corner to kind of add more depth to the look. I'll be using my angled shadow brush again. I'm using Bare Minerals eyeshadow in Mermaid which definitely has a greenish tint to it. It's really cool color actually. It almost looks scaly because of the shine that they put in it. it. Oh, I don't even know how to describe this color, but it's a really pretty, like, mermaidy, seaweedy color. So I'm gonna add that to my outer corner, which is right, like, here. But I'm not gonna do it in front of that. Don't add too much, or it will just look like overkill. 